how's your day been so far? Oh, pretty good. Um, just literally just got like out the shower and stuff after training. So uh, I'm feeling uh, my body's feeling tired, but my mind's here with you. <laughs> how's uh, how's training been? Obviously, very yeah. unusual times with the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, finally kind of got in a swing of things. I think everybody's kind of found the new normal now with uh, being home with, you know, all the coronavirus fun stuff going on. But, uh, I, I mean, our gym is closed, so just been getting conditioning in outside the gym, basically. Do you have a timeline of when that'll the gym will open back up, or is it all just yeah. up in the air? Well, it was supposed to be what, yesterday. It was June 1st, and USA Boxing was saying June 1st for um, their sanctioned gyms, but uh, they bumped it back to June 30th. So we're just kind of waiting and uh, waiting and watching and crossing our fingers. So yeah, Houston Alexander was actually the person who uh, sent me your your way. He was like, "You gotta." You got to check her out. So I was like, okay, I'll have her on. Um, so how, how do you know Houston? And then how's training with him? Oh, yeah. No, okay. So I work for the YMCA here in Omaha. And um, Houston does a ton throughout the community, as I'm sure you heard yeah. talk with him. Uh, but he DJs for events around here um, and uh, met him. He was DJing a, an event for a, a Black History Month event that I was at and somebody said, oh, you know, Houston's a fighter, like you should talk to him because at the time I was trying to get back into it um, after I'd had a baby. So um, went up, talked to him and uh, he tried to tell me that, no, he was not a fighter. He was a professional ice skater. And, uh, <laughs> so, but anyways, that's how I got started uh, training with him. Um, just kind of, he, he does workouts um, with people here in Omaha. So just been getting back in shape with him um, and kind of getting my like skills back sharp again because it's, it's been a, it's been a little while. I was a little rusty there, so. <laughs> yeah, how does it feel to get back in, in training, especially after having a baby? I feel like that would be obviously I've never experienced that, never will, but uh, I can't imagine it's uh, it's easy. No, it's it's not. It's like basically the uh, pain of getting back in shape plus uh like all just imagine like all of your muscles have been stretched out and you have to figure out how to uh cope with all of that and like jump rope and try not to pee your pants <laughs> like it's just the the postpartum recovery is just a whole nother animal on top of just getting back in shape so uh, i just took a lot of patience and um just you know really being uh, giving my body some grace while it was getting back in shape, but uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good now, feeling pretty strong, and um, I, I can definitely, I mean, everybody can always get a little bit more conditioned up, but I'm feeling good and strong now. So you're, you're looking forward to, you're looking to make your debut. Is there, how far out do you think you are before having a, your first match? Yeah, well, and that, that kind of ties into uh, the difficulties of getting into it as a woman too, right? So uh, I'm looking forward to like my first fight. I've uh, kind of been lined up in the past for a few fights, cut weight, um, and normally that's there isn't a woman that's my weight that's there at that particular tournament or whatever it is. So um, now I'm looking, hopefully, maybe like September, this fall time frame, I'm uh, looking to get my first fight and if any of that doesn't work out I'm just going to be trying to get smokers just just to get some experience under my belt because it's just it's hard to uh count on any like sure bets as a, a female in this sport so what what is the goal as a as a boxer what, what do you want to achieve yeah well I mean I'm 25 getting into the well I started probably when I was 22 so um, there have been women that have started later than me that have made it, uh, to become world champs. Like I would love to go pro and, uh, just see how far I can take my skill set. Uh, I love, I just love the sport. So just getting to be around it for me is awesome. And, uh, as far as I can take it, I'd love to push myself as far as I can. Yeah. 
what's uh what got you into it obviously it's just like you mentioned it's hard as a woman obviously it's a male dominated sport uh, as of right now like i'm not a big boxing fan but i can only think of really Layla Ali and clarissa shields yeah. but i can name 20 or 30 boxers uh that are male what do you think it will take i guess as well um for i guess women boxing to be as big as uh male boxing yeah that's a great question <laughs> And I think it like comes down to promoting. Um, and boxing, just compared to MMA, isn't the best at promoting, even even for the male fighters. Like I think a lot of people bring up like Terence Crawford, like probably best pound for pound, but could walk onto a subway and uh, people might not know who he is. So uh, it was the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. So um, I mean. MMA does an amazing job promoting, and I think boxing could take a take a hint from them. And you know, especially women, like they just don't get. Probably Katie Taylor as a, a female boxer is the best promoted, and she now is like the best uh, paid female in boxing. So it just it comes down to promoting. If you if you have your name out there, that's why people are going to put you on TV, and that's how you get the money. So what what got you into it? Um, so I started out, I was just kind of like introduced to it, um, through like fitness classes, right? So, uh, just the like, let's get your heart rate up kind of boxing. So, um, but I, I really enjoyed it and I was like, no, I'd, I'd love to actually like see, can I actually do this, um, and compete and stuff. So, um, just kind of like gradually made the steps over to, um, training in gyms that were serious about competing and uh, investing in me that way. Have you have you tried other martial arts? Like I I do jujitsu. Um, I've done boxing. I got hit in the hit in the liver once, and I was like, okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> um, have you ever considered other other martial arts? Yeah. So actually, that's. I mean, I have been around like kickboxing. I've been around. Uh, I've had trainers that were more in like the Muay Thai side of things, jujitsu, um, and who really wanted me to kind of like start in the MMA side of things. And it's funny that you say like you got a uh, hit in the liver and that was why you don't want to uh, box. To me, it's like, okay, in MMA, you could get hit in the liver plus like all of these other horrifying injuries. <laughs> so, and I mean, technically, right, uh, boxing is more dangerous because you're taking more repetitive blows to the head and like vital organs. But um, for whatever reason, there, there's like seeing the videos of people like just snapping their shins on other people's shins is just horrifying to me. Yeah, so, there are some. Maybe I'll try some someday, questions. but uh, yeah, that that's just gotta gotta get over that. <laughs> Yeah, there are some nasty MMA injuries. I guess boxing mainly is the, you know, head damage I find yeah. is a big, big thing. But uh, if you're good, you don't get hit. Uh, right. Like that's Floyd, that's Floyd Mayweather. So, yeah. so is do you have Terrence Crawford as number one uh, in the world right now? Or um, I would say for pound for pound, yeah. Um, now I've got a lot of uh, favorites, but I mean that just rotates so much, anyways, and it's just kind of arbitrary, but. Uh, I, I like Terrence Crawford. I like um, Errol Spence down in Dallas. Um, I also um, have seen and really like Maurice Hooker. He's a good boxer. So um, there's a lot of good ones that are, I mean, it's just, it's really stacked right now. So especially on the male side. Yeah, I, I find with, with women especially, I find I can only name two. But in MMA, uh, like Amanda Nunes is better paid than a lot of male champions um so i think it really is only a matter of like you said promotion um like even a few years ago dana white said women will never fight in the ufc right. and then ronda rousey came around and then amanda nunez so i really think that it you know boxers especially promoters need to take a page from dana white's book and, yeah. and kind of uh you know use that as well to to promote female boxers um and hopefully i mean hopefully they'll get paid the, the right amount. You know, I mean, it's it, like you're saying, it's just, it's all about promotion, but uh, uh, people don't necessarily want to give uh, women airtime. And there is just a certain amount of that, that people got to get over. Cause once, when you see women fighting, whether it's boxing or MMA, like 
they, they're leaving it all out there. So they're performing, they're outperforming men in a lot of fights, I think. But yeah, I agree, especially like I'm, I'm MMA guy. So especially in MMA, like you don't watch boring female fights. Right. Um, they're just putting it all out there because they've got more to prove. They're trying to prove not just for themselves, but for women in general. And uh, I, I love it. I, it's been, like this weekend, Amanda Nunes is fighting Felicia Spencer, and they're headlining a card awesome. filled with men. And I, I, and I love it. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I, I, hope, I hope soon boxing can uh, follow in those footsteps. I mean, um, it seems like there's that new wave kind of that's coming in boxing, especially um, – since they started in 2012 uh, in the Olympics, they they introduced women's boxing. Granted, it's only three weight classes, but something and the the champs that kind of came out of that wave of Olympians um, are really starting to promote like women's boxing as a sport. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, I like Clarissa Shields. She's yeah. she's super vocal. Um, she's getting out there. Um, and even calling out MMA fighters, which I think is great. And I think it really brings in um, different fans. Um, like, I had no idea who she was until she started mm-hmm. calling out Amanda Nunes. I saw – she was talking about 2021, looking to, like, jump over into MMA, too. So uh, that would be really interesting. I mean, she's she's just a aggressive fighter, period. Like, I feel like she could she could do it. Outside of the physical side of things, um, obviously, um, what are some of the other struggles you face as a female um, boxer? Yeah. Um, so I think every time I've kind of come into a new gym, it's uh, it takes you kind of like at least twice as long to just show up and do the work to to get somebody to say like, hey, like, okay, let's let's get you into sparring. Let's get you into like. It, t- it just takes longer to prove yourself in a gym. And um, once you do that, like normally then the coaches are invested in you. But even then, they're used to getting fights for their men boxers. So like in Texas, the team I was on, uh, it was probably like 20 dudes and then me and one other girl. And so they were going to go to all these local stuff. Like those are the easy fights to get, but then there's no... Um, women that are there for uh, for us to fight so it, it's just hard like you have to definitely prioritize yourself and advocate for yourself as a female boxer and I'm sure fighter in general I'm not sure how it goes on the MMA side but uh, you just got to know that like you got to put in work and probably travel um, and just really try to find people that that will be in your corner um, to uh, connect you with people that kind of know where the fights are at. What advice would you give to to girls, I guess, coming out of university or high school or whatever it may be, who are hesitant to go to a gym because it's predominantly male and, and a lot of people would, I guess, be scared almost. Um, but what advice would you give them? Um, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I think the, the people that are scared to go in a gym because it's a lot of dudes in there are probably not the people that are going to, uh, like pass the test anyways and like really, uh, have the strength to, to be a good fighter. But, um, I think it is valid for like younger girls that like, they don't necessarily stuff, but, um, they're not seeing it as a, uh, something that's for them so for younger girls I would say like just like do it like it's there's no pressure at first if you want to like try your hand at it like do the kind of dumb fitness class stuff like start out on that side like there's so much less pressure and then like just like kind of like I did like you can just kind of gradually cross over um, once you uh, know that that's what you want to do but what I will say, like, to be careful of if you're starting in the fitness side is that people don't necessarily care about technique on on that side. They're, it's literally you're just trying to get in shape. So uh, you can definitely learn bad habits that take a long time to unlearn. So, uh, yeah, but to, to all women, like, just do it. Like, there's nothing uh, about fighting that is like inherently male like yeah. you can be just as uh badass as all the dudes in that gym 
You did some work. Uh, I guess we'll kind of shift focus here and do some non uh, martial arts stuff. Um, you did some work with the human impact. What what was that like? I, I do something similar where I uh, volunteer and feed the homeless. So I guess kind of talk about that. What yeah. what that was like? Oh man, I, I love that job. That was uh, when I was living back in Texas. That's when I worked with them. Um, they basically work with chronically homeless down in uh, Dallas, South Dallas, in like a really specific neighborhood. So we would go out and like do street outreach to uh, specifically people that were had been on the streets for like three or more years or had experienced like three or more bouts of homelessness in a year. So um, we would just literally like get to know people on a one-on-one -on -one basis figure out what, why are you out here? What are the like root causes that have led to you being out here for this long? Uh, and a lot of times it was like some, some uh, like loss of relationship. So maybe they were in prison they came out their their mom had died while they were in prison. And so they didn't come out to any kind of support system. So uh, I got to like kind of work with that team is as uh, some of their support system, right? And it was, I loved that work. It was like emotionally exhausting, um, but you just get to like meet and get to know so many amazing people through it, so. Do you find that kind of helps, I guess, with, with boxing? I, like I know I've, like the work I did, I find when I go to do any sort of training, I almost used it as uh, like, anytime I was in pain, I was like, this is in pain. Yeah. Yeah, like you, like, you have something to gauge it against. No, yeah, I mean, I definitely, uh, it helps, I mean, on the, like, mental strength side of things, I think, because you have to have your own boundaries in that kind of work, too. So uh, that side of it, like, you definitely have to be mentally strong, um, know what your boundaries are, what you're comfortable with, what you're not. But also, like, the, the type of people that you get to know, like you say, it's just inspiring. Like, um, man, this dude's been through so much. Like, I can I can go another round or whatever. Like, it's yeah. easy. Yeah. And I guess last question here. Um, what sorts of things have you been doing through the, through the pandemic? I think everyone's been locked at home. Very little training can be done. Um, work's been limited. What sorts of things have you been doing to occupy yourself? Okay, well, I've got the little 11-month-old, uh, and he's uh, running around keeping me pretty busy. So uh, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of this evening once I go pick him up. Um, so, he, yeah, he keeps me totally busy. And then uh, I've definitely – this kind of came at, like, an opportune time. Like I said, I've, I was trying to get back in shape after uh, having the baby. So this pandemic, you know, has kind of forced me to be like, okay, I just got to focus on – getting my conditioning up and doing all of that stuff. So I've, I've been spending a lot of time uh, working out. Um, but just kind of like, I don't know, doing the like little hobbies here and there that I, I used to like to do and didn't have time for. So reading and uh, just kind of, you know, riding my bike around and stuff like that. So it's, it's been a good reset. I've been trying to see it as, as that at least. All right. Awesome. All right. Thanks very much for, for taking the time. I, uh, I appreciate you jumping on. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It's a uh, great chatting. Of course. All right. All the best. Hope hopefully you can get a fight soon, and yeah. hopefully you get this uh, boxing career started. Man, I totally agree. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. All the best. Bye.